Hey, here we are in Maya, and in this tutorial, we want to take a look at animation curves um, or paths and attaching an object to an animation path. And an animation path is nothing more than a CV curve, and then you create an object and you attach it to the curve, and then there's a few settings you can adjust uh, how, how long it takes to go from the beginning to the end, and there's a few things like twist and bank and uh, so this is what we're going to, to do. Uh, notice this airplane is on that curve and it, and it banks and then it kind of eases in for landing. So that's that's what we're doing here. I'm going to go ahead and delete this and bring in this plane as a new one. And so first thing, you want your object to be facing a known direction. So when you create your object, uh, just note this is in a positive X. You probably want it in positive X or positive Z. Uh, then that way as it goes down the animation path uh, it'll be going for, forward instead of sideways or backwards or upside down. So that's the first thing. Uh, mine's fake, facing positive Z. The next thing you're going to need is an, a path and again you go to create CV curve tool and I'm going to do this from the side view sorry get to my four view I've messed something up over here okay and I do not have to start at the beginning of the plane I'm going to start you know somewhere over here and the planes coming kind of flat down the runway it lifts off gradually and then maybe it begins to take off and I'm going to go to the top view and I'm going to do a really sharp turn and just land it coming back the other way so go back to this and it begins coming down All right. and if you want to adjust your curve at all uh, you can do that I suppose I want to make this a little more extreme here and smooth out my descent so that, lo that looks alright all right, so I have a path I have my object and now you select your object that's facing in positive X shift select the path go into the animation menu go to animate and there is something uh, a place called motion paths you want to select attach to motion path in the option box the option box is where you're going to enter the time range if you know exactly how many frames it's going to be uh, or you can do what's on the time slider uh, so if I want exactly 200 I, I could change it down here and do a time slider or if I wanted to do a start in so I'll do 250 frames and the front is X and the up is Y so I'm going to go ahead and apply it and it puts your object at the beginning of the path and in 250 frames it's going to go through that entire animation that entire curve. So there you go. That's path animation. Really simple. Uh, I want to show you two things before I close the video. The first is suppose you want to make this faster or slower. How would you do that? Well, in the animation curve editor, with your object selected, you're going to go down to uh, the, your motion path here. And you're going to frame that, and the this is going to determine. Uh, right now, it's ending on 247. If I wanted everything to end at 140. Four, uh, 
or if she wanted it to end at you know 5a but uh so you just grab it middle mouse click and drag uh, if that doesn't work hold down the w hit the w key and that'll put you in the move mode so uh you know so we'll take it to 288 and you want to make sure this is at one one is the end the very end of the curve so as it gets to that point it's at the end all right so that's how you change the um, speed the next thing is uh, when it begins it begins with a set velocity and what we want to do is probably start off going slow at first and then getting faster as it goes and then at the end it wants to we want to gradually slow down but at the moment it just starts going at a certain speed and ends very abruptly so let's change this to an ease in and ease out we select that and just flatten that and we take the end and flatten that one out and as we go in if you now we'll be able to uh, see how it gradually slows down and that when it begins it begins kind of slowly and then speeds up as it goes all right the last thing I want to show you uh, with this is uh, as it's going and notice it's staying pretty flat the whole time but as we go into this curve there are a few attributes that we can animate with the object selected we go into the motion path and there is a front twist that's useful sometimes uh, and front twist and a middle mouse dragging you can animate the rotation uh, that front that twist about that you know if there were a rod going in the middle kind of the an animation around that so I will, I'm going to set this here at zero key selected and then I'm going to go about right here and key selected again they're both at zero so they're both flat and then go somewhere in the middle and I'm going to uh, set a keyframe I have auto keyframe on so it so it's flat and as it goes in it begins to roll so the very steep bank as it's going into that that curve and then it flattens out by the time you get here you could also use this to if you want to begin kind of a, a roll <laughs> um, you could do that so at this point I could do a front twist key selected and uh, maybe go here and then you know how if I want to do a 360 degree roll here really quick but you get the idea we uh, I could adjust the spacing of that in the timing of that in the curve editor but that's what I want to show you uh, there's not a lot to it uh, you, there's also a side twist which is your up and down and up twist which is uh, this is animatable too um, so you can play with those but basically you select your object select your curve and attach it make sure you set your uh, how long you want it to play pretty easy stuff so if you can use this in your project do uh, have fun with it that's it for this tutorial